All right. Three, two, one. We're back. Hi. Fuck. Oh, hello. Sorry, Abby was shrinking. <laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome to Sly Cooper, the Thievius Raccoonus. We are going to go to Haiti. I'm going to go down to Central America. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Oh, Lord. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. That's sad. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Tragic backstory character. Sly Cooper in. Vicious voodoo. Well, I'm already, oh, no voodoo. Well, I'm already deeply invested in this level. Good. We're gonna get in trouble with the hoodoo voodoo. <laughs> You're, yeah, hoodoo voodoo, beware, hoodoo voodoo. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, we're now we're going down the bayou. <laughs> going down the bayou. <laughs> okay, funny story about the bayou. Um, a coworker of mine when I worked with the night crew, he told me that uh, when. Sorry, oh. Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity, but that's not a problem. <laughs> This swab is us. Cozy with mold I mean, they are talking about ghosts. Suck it up, Don't forget the new move you learned from mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the raccoon rail walk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Um, but one of my night crew workers, he's like, yeah, I'm, uh, I once worked with a guy from New Orleans and a co-worker came in wearing a BYU sh shirt. Or not a, or, um, either way, um. Uh, Co-work, this one guy walked up to the guy wearing the BYU sh shirt and's like, so, you from New Orleans? No, but your shirt says you're from the bayou. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're on the bayou. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh, Can I grab I think that's this? a trampoline. Uh, not up there. Okay, uh, yep. Yeah. Rolling around at the speed of sound. I mean, you're not wrong. These things are meant so that you can like slide on them. They're very fun sometimes. Got one place to go, gotta <laughs> find <follow laughs> <them. laughs> Copyright. Just look around and I came in right now. Someone please make like this freaking fan joke. <laughs> Got one place to go, gotta follow me. <laughs> I need follow that. Follow me. Set me free. Follow me. Is <laughs> our <laughs> We're totally doing it wrong, Sonic by the way. The banjo, the banjo is a lovely instrument. It is. No. Sonic but like, if you put it to that higher beat, it sounds funnier. It. it yeah. The dun, are, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Banjos actually sound really nice. Like, um, if you've ever been on Pirates of the Caribbean, that banjo at the very beginning is. Did I miss so something nice. I could jump onto up there? I don't know. Uh. I don't think so. Wow. This is kind of prequel hub world, so probably not. Uh, I hate you mosquitoes. Fuck your couches. I mean, you could look around and make sure, you know, if you're missing anything. Yeah. So it looks like there is a rail that would lead in there. We have to go on top of it. I feel like I can talk because I didn't get to this part when I was briefly playing it when I was home. So, you know. I guess you could die. Well, that was not why, what I Oh, you intended. can't die in the water anyway. Yeah. yeah. Up we go. Yeah. Oh, this might, looks like it leads us back. Well, that's kind of where I want to go at the moment. Ah. If you double jump quickly, you'll jump higher.
Mine. Mine. Oh, I didn't know we were in the DC universe. What's Swamp <laughs> Thing doing here? <laughs> uh, so I think I could say it. Welcome to the spooky levels. The spoop levels. These are the spoop levels. Honey, you know what you have to say. Mad Spoopy! It is Spoopy! Miss Mad. Ruby's a Spoopy! So sp Nice. Man, yeah. I miss the answer, Drew. We gotta get back to that. Okay. Yeah, we gotta finish Amnesia Memories first. Mm -hmm. Which Jessie. we're close. We're on the last route. To be, Jessie needs to get her life back. Well, talk to her employer. Yep. Oh, first of all. Um, we need to do more flashback. I'm dying. Well, let me get flashback going. I'm working <laughs> on it. So I know. Sure that's your heart. I, I know, Flays. I'm not, I'm not mad at You're you. You're just gonna go back around in a circle now. Okay, so we got a bottle. Yeah, I'm trying to get back to flashback slowly oh. but surely. Hello? Alright, what are you called? You- Oh yeah, gold. let's go over the monster Is names. he a gopher? He might be a gopher. I'll- I'll pull up this up real quick. The guards. We're going down. Okay, I dig the skull flashlight, dude. Okay, so the water rat guards here- The rats! are called Mojo Dupree. <laughs> Mojo Dupree. <laughs> uh, mosquito guards are called Clarence Dupree. It's Miss Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of a tiki pedestal in the guard compound. There's a bad Mojo force field protecting it, so you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get caught Those here. are purple. You'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those voodoo guards, and I'm warning you, they're made and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. So then we have this, uh, other guards. I'm gonna spoil a little bit of the monsters we're gonna see. I'm uh, fine with that. We have the spider guards, uh, they're called Nasty Charlotte. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Swamp monster guards are called Marcel Woodfist. Woodfist! Uh, ghost rat guards are... They're normal guard. They don't have a name. Oh, because they're probably dead versions of uh, Rat Dupree. Of Mojo Dupree. Uh, yeah, Mojo We Dupree. have fire turtle guards. They're called Pierre Flame Nose. Pierre Flame Nose. Oh, and then uh, the other monsters, we do not have a name for ah, them. Ah, crap. Sorry, I've got to take this. Uh, accidentally got just closed out that window. I'm going to pull that back up. Guess oh, we're going to need it. Yeah, those are purple. That's a purple light. Whatever. I, did I just commit secondhand murder manslaughter by putting out lights? Yes. Are they are they like reverse cockroaches that child? Take... It's voodoo. It's They're voodoo. probably tied to the lives of those candles. Oh. Welcome to the spooky chapter. I now feel kind of bad. Yeah, welcome to spooky chapter. We're gonna get to some creepy stuff. It's gonna be spooky. And at last, I see the light, <laughs> and it's dripping with the blood of the innocent. Oh <laughs> lord. Well, where's the safe in this area, by the way? I just saw it. It's, yeah, it's I, in this I area. Oh, okay. So, luckily. Because you have all 20. The, yeah, I got all 20. Yeah. So we can just go ahead and grab I'm gonna, it. But... I'm going to open the safe and hide my guilt inside, oh. along with the bodies. Well, there are no bodies. You don't leave the bodies If behind. I did my math right, and mm. I always do my math right, <laughs> then the combination has got to be 588. Eight. I want to see him do his math wrong once. <laughs> Just once. <laughs> just once in my... I just... I'm sure Sly and Murray would like that, too. <laughs> I'm just imagining the scene from Summer Wars where the guy's doing the advanced math in his head then it gives himself a nosebleed. Yes! Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a Oh, so it's an attack now. Mm -hmm. Yep. It should give you a nice tingling sensation. I don't... Mm. It, it, I, I will I will mention, since we're probably not going to be doing the time attacks, a lot of people recommend that you have this upgrade for the time attacks because you can roll really quickly mm. and then you can hit enemies that are in your way. Not to beat a dead hedgehog, but rolling around at the speed <laughs> of sound. Once, once again, I love the roll. So I got very familiar with the roll because I did do the time attack at one point, so I had to get good at it. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. I now really we're... like this map. I like the dragon head. Yeah, I want to go over the dragon head. Crocodile head, honey. Dragon! <laughs> dragon! <laughs> There's dragons in Haiti, right? <laughs> I don't know. There's dragons in Haiti. Quetzalcoatl exists down in Central America. It's fine. It's... Wow, and now we probably just in insulted all of our Central American viewing My audience. Oh, Jay, what's a crocodile? A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. This is long. Right. We're, this is the dark center. So it is possible to, like, back up on these things, but it just requires a lot of jumping and doing it. Oh, so, like, cheat the system. Yeah, so you can... Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna bother yeah, with that. You can but... do it. I just want to throw that out there. Son of a gun, I did it again. <laughs> I'm gonna do better. I know that accent was technically stereotypical, but I really like how that accent sounds. Yeah. She sounds great. Early 2000s. This is Ruby's great. So yeah, she, yeah. if it was a little hard to understand, she basically was just saying like, we have powerful mojo going on. We got to pile up those bones or the soup so that we can have an army of ghosts so that we could take over Mexico. Not Mexico. And then it's, it's because- Are you crawling on a bone thing? Those are bones, yes. Spoops. Right. I don't have my dive equipped. So he can't see you while you're up here. Thank you. All right. Is this? Oh, okay. Oh, it's another crab. Piranha Lake. This is another crab, right? It's a little different. Okay. But. Oh boy. Fly, the only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. For some reason. With boat. Fish oil. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Oh, this is worse than the crabs. <laughs> I told you. I want it. But it plays banjo music. I just have to run them over. Yeah, you have two fuel now. So you gotta light the torches now. They don't go out at least. No, they don't, so. Now I feel like I'm playing Spyro. Yeah. yeah. And I probably shouldn't talk about playing Spyro since the only one I've played is Enter the Dragonfly. But gotta get those piranha plants for some reason. Not piranha plants, gotta get the piranha for some reason because piranhas can fuel fire. Fish oil, I get the, it's a fish oil joke, I'm sure. Pretty but sure, but. I don't, I don't know if fish oil is flammable. It's still an interesting comparison. You're making good time. You're, uh, have like almost half of them. And we're about a minute I'm, in, so you're doing good. I'm gonna get you little fishies. One, two, three. F missed him, but that's okay. Real fish oil does not burn. That's what I thought. Yeah. Fake fish oil does. So these are synthetic piranhas? I mean, everything else here is like basically dead, so. Oh, it's the carbon from the corpse. Oh, <laughs> they're voodoo piranhas. Voodoo piranhas. That from the Amazon. Afarana to the Amazon. This definitely doesn't control as bad as some of those half-baked mini games that I've played. Again, honestly, I feel like Sly Cooper games control really, really well. Like, like, usually for- Ah, uh, fuck. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think you can, you have three more. Where are the other two? Right there. Yay! There you go! Okay, yeah. My arm went to sleep. 
Oh no. Yeah. But um, honestly, Sly Cooper games, I feel like they control really well. Usually to the point where like if I like die or something or make a mistake, it, I feel like it's on me instead of like the game's controls because again, I just feel really in control playing these games. <sighs> I seem to remember that with- I haven't played it again recently, so I- I cannot confirm nor deny my feelings towards the controls, but I seem to remember feeling that way when I was playing. Yeah. But, I haven't done the driving stuff yet, except for the- the fish. Yeah. Because of goddamn you mean fish? Crab. The crabs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I have a feeling that's true, but at the same time, you know, just- I have the image of the car rocking- <laughs> Oh yeah, up into the- <laughs> I showed you that clip that I did. Yes. Made. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited for that to go up. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, we. There's another thing on the other side by the looks of it. More sneak snacks. Oh. That didn't work. A grave undertaking. Oh, I don't, don't want to deal with the undertaker, thank you. Too bad. Oh, <laughs> Too bad. It's time for spooks, I guess. I don't want the spooks. <laughs> spooks. You know, kid-friendly spooks. Kinda. Not really. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Kinda. Not really. No, no. Sly. You have to you circle do. button. I did circle you button. Have, they said Jump quite circle. clearly. Jump and hit the circle button. Oh, I'm sorry. On. I will not allow that to pass. <laughs> Sly, you'd better be on your guard here. My paranormal scanners show this place is really haunted. Whoops. I think that's just my favorite thing is just that the ghosts are real. <laughs> the ghosts are real, yes. And, the, the, and we have our freaking science guy being the one to tell us, no, they're real. It's like, no, they're here. They're here. Well, that was very interesting. When you smash that gravestone, the ghosts stopped coming. You think that'd it make more ghosts. Kind of ghosts? Like, you're desecrating their groove. <laughs> Maybe if you smash them all, you'd be safe. For some reason, though, they act as a generator. Okay. You know, spooky stuff. So you can't see the spooky stuff, it doesn't exist. <laughs> what does this game think it is? Gauntlet? You never know. 2000s. Early 2000s. Oh. Oh, that's a. Whoa, whoops. We're probably going to start at the beginning, but that is an episode. So, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Spook.